Hi, I'm Barry. I've just rolled the walls behind me here and I'm just going to show, share a few little tips with you just to make life a little less complicated. I know I've mentioned to you before about you, the difference between using a roller scuttle and a roller tray. Now again, I think this is quite an important um, point to note. These roller trays, I, again, I prefer the, the roller scuttles. Okay, so this is a roller tray. You can't really get much paint in them. Okay, so if you've got that in the middle of the room, again, they're very difficult to move around. But also when you're walk, walking around uh, or the customer comes in, they're very, very easy if you're not sort of looking where you're going to, to tread on and they tip up. Okay, also, what I like to see students doing this a lot, they leave the roller, the roller tray or the roller scuttle in the middle of the room, they load the, they load the roller over and then they take it to the wall and it can be all dripping off okay, and getting all over the carpets or over your dust sheets and then it'll obviously get into your carpets. So again, I like to use these, these roller scuttles what they're handy for is if, again, you can just pick these up and take them with you wherever you want in the room. Dead easy. And also you can just leave your, if you need a break or if you need to alter your dust sheets, you can just leave that there and you're not going to have any paint spillage. Okay, so again, I've just rolled this wall behind me. There's a couple of little, little pointers, a little, few little tips for you. Okay, some of the common mistakes that people make. And one of those is, again, when we're second coated is we're not putting enough paint on. Okay, and I've just, just, I've really, really rolled this wall really, really hard now, and it's made the roller sleeve go really, really tight, so you can see that. There's no, hardly any paint on there whatsoever. So I'm just going to activate this roller again. Okay, so I'm really, really going to spread this out, and you'll see how the roller goes really, really tight. And that's not, we're not after that. Okay, so plenty of paint on. And we're gonna, just going to go, I'm probably going to catch the wall here. Okay, so I'm going to go from the top, come to the edge, and then again I'm going to load my roller. Okay, but this time, just do one, one other short one. Just see how see how much paint I put on. I go down, up, join to my next piece, and then gently roll over it. No pressure on there at all. So you can see how much I've actually done with a roller full of paint. Now, can you see how open that, that roller's become? Okay, now then. I'm really, really going to spread this out now and you'll see how the roller goes really, really tight and it's not going to give us an even coverage and this is where your walls can go patchy. Okay, so I'm really, really going to spread this out now starting to go tight, I can feel it. Yeah, and I can feel there's no paint going on there now. And this is again, this is where you get patchy walls from. And while I'm on this bit, I'll do a couple of the uh, faults that you're gonna come across as well. They're very easy to rectify. Okay, so. Now, can you see those ridges here? This is what happens with rollers. So again, if that happens, just go over them very, very gently. I put no pressure on this roller whatsoever. And it's just, again, just what's called laying off. Now also what people do as well, they'll have a look down the wall and they think, oh, it looks a bit patchy there. I'll just roll that bit in and then they'll come to that part, oh that looks a bit patchy as well and they'll roll that piece in and all that is is just the paint drying okay you don't need to do that at all you just need to trust it okay and then and then it won't dry patchy at all okay so we've covered the ridge marks and again if you've got a miss that there or even worse a ridge mark and a miss okay, and that's just by putting too much pressure on the edge of this roller like that okay and if that happens again just get your roller and just whiz over it now also I've got a really big thick piece there okay so if I left that there you're going to see a lot of the orange peel okay so again if that happens very very easy up and down, 
roll over it a few times, and it just disappears. And then once that's all dry, it should be a perfectly flat finish.